This is part six of how to make an iPod poster. Now we're going to add the logo. We have, we'll have two layers. One of them will be a text layer that says iPod. It's typed in Arial Black, white letters, and it's going to have about 180 point in size. The second thing we put in here is the apple. It'll have to be resized and inverted so that it's white. So to make these two parts, first thing we do is type the word iPod. So if you get the typing tool and click down here in the bottom right corner, type the word lowercase i, capital P-O-D for iPod, and highlight it, come up here to your control panel, and select Arial Black, regular, 180 point, and then stay away from the edges, float it in this space, away, way away from the edges, in a nice place. I think that should be a little smaller. Let's make it 160. Yeah, that's better. Now we're going to get the apple. You were given an apple logo in black on our website to use for this project, so we're going to open that. Apple logo black, be okay. Remember, the checkerboard that you see behind the apple indicates there are no pixels there. That means this apple is cut out and ready to go. We don't have to mask or anything. It's good to go. So we just get our move tool, put it in the center of the apple, drag it and drop it in our poster. And there it is. It's way too big. So we're going to transform it. Free transform it. So double click on the layer and name it Apple so we know what it is. Keep that layer selected. Use the keyboard command. Hold down the command key. Press the letter T on the keyboard. That puts the bounding box around the object. Hold down the shift key to keep it proportioned. Press and drag toward the center. Now I can move this around while I'm resizing it, so I'm going to pull it down here where I can see if it's going to be the right size. We want the apple and the letter P to be the same height. So I'm going to get in here close so I can see. Hold down the shift key, press and drag on the corner. There. Now I'm going to Press return to lock it in, position it, there. Now I need to make it white. We're going to do what's called an inversion. So I'm going to select the apple layer, image, adjustments, invert. Invert means opposite or difference. Now let's tell to show to fit it on the screen, which is Command Zero. Looks good. So that's how you put the logo in for part six. And we'll finish it up with part seven.